from San Mateo, it's theCUBE, covering Scalar Innovation Day. Brought to you by Scalar. Hey everyone, I'm John Furrier with theCUBE. We are here in San Mateo, California for a special Innovation Day with Scalar at their headquarters, their new headquarters here. I'm here with Shia Lu, who's uh, Shia Lu, who's the software engineer at the team. Good to see you, thanks for joining Hi, me. Hi, thank you, John. So tell us, what do you do here? What kind of programming, what kind of engineering? Sure, uh, so I'm a back-end software engineer at Scalar. What I work on from the day-to-day -day basis is uh, building our highly scalable distributed systems and serving our customers fast queries. What's the future that you're building? Yeah, so uh, one of the projects that I'm working on right now is um, it will help our infrastructure to move towards a more stateless uh, infrastructure. Um, so the project itself is a metadata storage component and a series of APIs that can tell our backend servers where to find a log file. That might sound really simple, but at the massive scale of ours, it is actually a significant challenge to do it fast and reliably. And you know, getting data is a big challenge. Everyone knows that data is the new oil, data is the gold, whatever the people saying yes. these days is super important. You guys have a unique architecture around data ingest. What's so unique about it? You mind sharing? Of course, um, so uh, we have a lot of things that we do or don't do uniquely. Um, I would like to start with the ingestion front of things and what we don't do on that front. So uh, we don't do keyword indexing, which most other ex existing solutions do. Um, by not doing that, not keeping the index files up to date with every single log message that's incoming, we save a lot of time and resource. Actually, uh, from the moment that our customers' applications generate a log line to that log line becoming available t for search in Scalar UI. That takes just a couple of seconds. Uh, and on other existing solutions, that can take hours. So that's the ingest side. What about the query side? Because you've got ingest, now query. What's that all about? Yeah, of course. Actually, uh, do you mind if, I, if we go to Blackboard a little no, bit? let's take a look. Let me grab a chalk real quick. Um, so we have a lot of servers around here. Um, we have uh, queue servers. Let's see. These are queue servers and um, a lot of backend servers. Um, just to iterate on the ingestion side a little bit, when logs come in, they will hit one of these queue servers, any one of them, any one of them and um, the queue server will kind of batch the log messages together and then pick one of the backend servers at random and send the batch of logs to them. Any queue can reach any backend servers. And that's how we kind of, uh, we're able to handle gigs of logs, how much ever log that you give us. Um, we ingest dozens of terabytes of data uh, on a daily basis. Um, and then it is this same farm of backend servers that's kind of helping us on uh, the query front. Query front. Um, our goal is when a query comes in, we summon all of these backend servers at once. We get all of their computation powers, all of their CPU cores to serve this one query. And um, uh, that is just a massively scalable multi-tenant model. And in my mind, it's really economies of scale at its best. So scale is huge here. So you got the decoupled backend and queue, queue system. Yes. But yet they're talking to each other. So. What's the impact of the customer? What's some of the order of magnitude scale we're talking about here? Absolutely. So um, for on, on the log side, we talked about seconds uh, response time from logs being generated to they see the logs show up. Um, and on the query side, um, the median response time of our queries is under 100 millisecond. And we define that response time from the moment 
the customer hit an, the, the return button on their laptop to they see results show up. And more than 90% of our queries uh, return results in under one second. So what's the deployment uh, model for the customer? So I'm a customer, oh, this sounds great. Latency is a huge issue. Mm -hmm. Want to have low latency because latency is really the lag issue for data. Do I buy it as a service? Am I deploying boxes? What does this look like here? Nope, absolutely at all. We are 100 plan cloud native. All of this is actually in our cloud infrastructure and you as a customer, you just start using us as a, a, a software as a service and uh, when you submit a query, all of our backend servers are at your service. And what's best about this model is that as Scalar's business grows, we will add more backend servers, add more computation power, and you as a customer still get all of that and you don't need to pay us any extra for the increased query speed. What's the customer um, use case for this? Can you give an example of who would benefit from this? Absolutely, so imagine you're an e-commerce platform and you're having this huge Black Friday sales. Seconds of time might mean millions of revenues to you, yeah. and uh, you don't want to waste any time on the logging front to debug into your system to look at your monitoring and see where the problem is if you ever have a problem. So um, we give you a query response time on the magnitude of seconds versus other ex existing solutions maybe you'll need to wait for minutes anxiously in front of your computer. Chia, what's the unique thing here? This looks like a really good RTD decoupling things, it makes sense, <laughs> but what's the, what's the secret sauce here? What's the big magic here? Yeah, absolutely. So um, anyone can kind of do a huge server farm, brute force, query approach, but um, the first 80% of a brute force algorithm is easy. It's really the last 20% that's kind of more difficult, challenging, and really differentiates us from uh, the rest uh, of other solutions. Um, so to start with, we make every effort we can to identify and skip the work that we don't have to do. Um, so maybe we can come back to sure, our yeah. seats. Yeah. Okay, so it's so it's exciting. Yeah, so um, we uh, there are a couple of things we do here to skip the, the work that we don't have to do. As we always say, the fastest queries are those we don't even have to run, which is very true. Um, we have this uh, columnar database that we built in-house, highly performant for our use case, that can uh, let us only scan the columns that the customer cares about and skip all the rest. And we also build a, a data structure called Bloom filters. And if a query term does not occur in those Bloom filters, we can just skip the whole data set that it represents. So that speed helps on the speed and performance. Absol absolutely, if we don't even have to look at that data set. You know, I love talking to software engineers, people who are <laughs> on the cutting edge, because you know, you guys are a startup. Attracting talent is a big thing, and people love to work on hard problems. Mm -mm. What's the hard problem that you guys are solving here? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so um, we, we have this huge server farm at, at our disposal. Um, it's, um, how, however, as we always say, uh, the key to brute force algorithms is really to recruit as much force as possible as fast as we can. If you have hundreds, thousands of cores lying around, but we, you don't have an effective way to summon them around when you need them, then there's no help having them around. Um, one, uh, one of the most interesting things uh, that my team does is we develop this customized scatter-gather algorithm in order to assign the work in a way that faster backend servers will dynamically compensate for slower servers without any prior knowledge, and I just love that. How fast is it gonna get? Well, I have no doubt that we'll one day reach light speed. <laughs> All right, physics is a good thing, but it's also a bottleneck. Tell us about your story. How did you get into this? Yeah, uh, so I joined Scalar about eight months ago uh, as an API server, actually. Uh, at, sorry, as an API engineer, actually. Um, so uh, during my uh, API days, um, 
I use Scalar, the product, very heavily, and I just became increasingly fascinated about the, the, the speed at, uh, at which our query runs, and I was like, I really want to get behind the scene and see what's going on in the back end that gives us such fast queries. So here I am, two months ago, I switched to the back end team. Well, congratulations, and thanks for sharing that insight. Thank thanks. you, John, thanks. I'm John Farr here with Cube Insights Day and Innovation Day here in San Mateo. Thanks for watching.